Welcome back. Hello. <laughs> um, so yeah, this is our... Um, I almost said this is our Citroen Berlingo. This isn't our Citroen it's Berlingo. It's not. It's a Nissan Prima Star. It's, it's a Nissan Prima Star. Prima Star. Prima Star. It's Prime. <laughs> you don't say Amazon Prime. No, I'm just saying it to do, you know. <gasps> um, so, uh, this is uh, Nimbus, our our van. Um, thank you, Catherine, for getting us uh, excited about going out and travelling in a van. Um <laughs> <laughs> super excited as you can see <laughs> so exciting it makes us yawn uh, i'm gonna let ashley talk about the story of how nimbus came to be in our possession and kind of the difficulties and then i'm gonna talk us through kind of the work we've done so far so take it away ernie it's gonna be a yawny ride <laughs> i was gonna say that <laughs> right so basically guys um i don't know whether Mike's mentioned it before, but we were looking for something a little bit smaller than a van, such as like a Citroen Berlingo or a Renault Grand Scenic, because we thought they're a little a car and we could basically just put the seats down and make we wanted it back to into spun- a bed. We wanted to sponge off Catherine, so we just needed a vehicle that we're not could- supposed to tell him that. <laughs> that we could just basically have a bed in. It was literally just going to be a bed uh, in the back of the car. And then everything else we were going to just <laughs> use Catherine's van for. Um, but then, yeah, so I was looking up um, on Facebook Marketplace of all places, um, like Citroen Berlingos, um, Kangoo, Renault Kangoos, um, stuff like that. And we'll probably put, hopefully, a little picture in this little bit here. And then, um, so that's what we were looking for. And then, are you laughing at me? No, it's just you, a little, little, little picture. Little picture. <laughs> um, so, yeah, so then, randomly, I just searched camper van on Facebook, and this came up. So I was like, oh my God, can we go see it? Because it was up for <laughs> 1500 which was a bit more than we were wanting to spend. But it's like, it was like, obviously, a van, like, big, full-sized Yanus. His van is big. <laughs> <laughs> so, um, and it was only like literally just down the road, like still in our town thing. So um, we went to see it and Mike test drove it and he was like, yeah, yeah, that sounds good. Yeah. Well, no, my dad test, test drove it. Because... And then Mike was like, oh, I'm very <laughs> dubious. Oh, I don't think we should get it. And then Catherine was like, get it. It's a really good deal. And then I was like, yay! And then Mike was like, hmm, mm, I don't know. I don't know. And I mean, to be fair, you were right to be dubious because it's got, well, it had a lot of issues. Slash, <laughs> still has. Yeah, so we basically, um, it, it was going into limp mode and... Uh, this was all said on the advert, so we knew about that. Yeah, so, that we, knew, so we knew about that. So it was kind of a gamble buying the van, like... I was suspecting that we'd buy the van, then we'd have to pay maybe £500 to get uh, certain repairs done so that everything was ship shape. Um, it turns out that was not the case at all. Um, one of the glow plugs had snapped and they had hot wired the other one into like the broken one off another one that was working. As you do. Um, the and then also the van was starting we got it back to the drive and we started doing a little bit of work but then it refused to turn uh, on uh so yeah. we took it to the the garage. mechanic yeah, yeah the mechanic had a look and he said it was the fuel pump so he replaced yeeted that. ours and then put a new one in so we were like fabulous it works now but then he brought it back and said actually the turbo's whining and your engine is knocking. So basically, it deaded. And we thought that the turbo whining, we thought that it was just going to be like a little yeah, whine little... or a little whir. But I uh, drove the van out somewhere and uh, to pick up some stuff and for some wood, for actually, the, for the roof. Um, and we got back and basically, uh, as we were driving, it sounded... The, the only way I can describe it is like a, a drill, like a dentist drill. Um, nice. But just very, very loud. And we were like, yeah, we're going to need a new engine because we need to replace the gold plugs. We now need to replace the turbo. There's probably like one or two yeah. other things which could potentially go wrong because of those issues. <laughs> yeah. So we could individually get them all kind of done as individual jobs. But by the time that you've actually paid 
the total cost to replace all of that. You might just, as well just get a yeah. whole new engine, basically. And then, and then that way it's reconditioned, it's new, it's all working. It's slower miles. So it should last. Yeah. Um, and we'll take good care of it. But that sort of led us on to the actual build. Now, um, what's important to remember is that me and Ashley are huge, huge geeks. Um, and we absolutely love Lord of the Rings and Harry Potter. Now, unfortunately, it's very hard to fit a full Lord of the Rings set inside of a van. You can't really put Helms Deep in here. So we sort of figured that we would go for something like Harry Potter because I actually went to work. And for those that don't know who are watching this for the first time, I actually work as a freelancer for my sister-in-law, Catherine, a.k.a. she owns Catnip Illustrations, which is like, a, she sell, she's an illustrator and she sells like pins and stuff like that. And uh, she came up with the idea of Nimbus, uh, the Nissan, because it had to be like N and N. So Nimbus and Nissan, Nissan. because I was trying to think of like a, a Viking <laughs> name to give the, like I really wanted like a manly Viking name for the van. Oh, did um, that turn out? Yeah, no, I was... Yeah, anyway, I'm not going to go into that. No. And then Catherine was like, oh, no, it's got to be matching. And then she went, what about Nimbus, the the Nissan? And it just clicked. It was like, oh, my God, that's we perfect. Were like, yay! So I rang Ashley up. So what we're doing is we're basically... We're trying to go for, like, a Harry Potter vibe in here. So um, I might have... I'll probably have a little bit of B-roll over this, um, hopefully showing you some kind of examples and stuff. But we're hoping to get, like, a green... Uh, you know, like the subway tiles that you see in the Ministry of Magic in like the kitchen. We've got like tongue and groove behind us, which and obviously ply on the roof um, that we've stained uh, with a walnut stain, and we're gonna make it like dark and rustic and try and get like Harry Potter theme. And basically, where the camera is now, we're gonna get this big like curtain mural of Hogwarts, um, and we're basically just gonna Harry Potterify this entire mm. thing because. I think one thing that me and you can say like confidently is that we are not like other people when it comes to interior design. Like most people, no. including my dad who's helping me with the build, would say, Oh, but you need to make it white and use a lot of light colours. You and need make... to make it light and airy. And and light fresh. and airy and we were like No. Nah. No. Nah. Nah. <laughs> nah. So um, the whole floor is literally dark brown. The Worktop is black. The cupboards are dark blue with copper handles. Yeah, we got like a rich blue with like um, a rustic coppery handle yeah. kind of vibe. Because basically, what we, obviously we've got the tiles to kind of represent that oh, sort of Ministry cool. of Magic sort of essence. But we're also trying to go for like um, like the Weasley's house. You know, that kind of rustic wood like like so run down sort of <laughs> yeah we're trying to because yes we are doing this on a budget but we're also trying to give it an authentic like like magic put it all mm. together type feel so it's, it's kind of difficult to try and get that across especially as a director where i know kind of what i want but then you everybody that's helping you is kind of in the opposite mindset of wanting to go like <laughs> light and airy but yeah so the only the like the only, i've never done anything diy so you know, <laughs> during this project, um, <laughs> working with like wood oh and stuff like that was all brand new to me. I'd never, you know, done any sort of like drilling, or, insulating. Um, so yeah, it's staining. Been, <laughs> it's it's yeah. been it's been an interesting journey so it far. Really has. Uh, oh. And this is why we decided to put it into like a few parts. So there may be like two or three parts to this series, and it's basically just our van build series. And I just wanted to do it just to kind of document it so that we can mm. look back at this in like several months or several years, and kind of just remember that time that we were going through during COVID, where we were working on something that was giving us happiness you know this is going to give us the opportunity to follow dean and Catherine on their tours around the uk and around <laughs> europe sorry dean and Catherine. um and to be fair we haven't actually even asked them if they want us to go with them but they asked us to go with them that's why we got this van <laughs> oh well i thought we were just like jumping on the bandwagon and literally i'll be honest for my <laughs> channel for my channel in particular this was just something that was a little bit different to just doing studio vlogs mm. um every week at catnip so i'm really excited to kind of get this video up um so i really hope that you enjoyed our little story time uh, about part one of the van build um we thank you so much um for joining us i don't know if you've got anything you want to you want to kind of say 
Um. Catch us next time. And then you could put like the snitch across it and be like, catch us. Yeah, sure. Because like Nimbus, snitch. <laughs> oh, Alright guys, so thank you for watching uh, and we'll see you in hopefully part number two or the next studio vlog, whichever the hell comes first on the channel. Um, bye bye. Yeah, bye. Do you want to press the button? Yeah, I'll press it. <laughs> oh God, there's nothing to hold on to. Ow! <laughs> Told you. <laughs> Did you just get that on camera? Yeah. For God's sake. <laughs>